I mean, let's keep it that way. So, uh, I hope I, I go to Wimbledon as to keep that streak. Um, yeah, I mean, look, in the in early stage of my career, I think I was struggling with with Grand Slams a lot. Um, you know, I was winning other tournaments, I was going deep in other tournaments, and Grand Slams are always the ones that um, I was struggling at. So um, I'm happy that kind of I can say that I'm hopefully also going to be stable in the future. Anything in English? Please introduce yourself. Jonathan Pinfield, Live Sports FM. Sasha, congratulations on another win. At the end of the match, you gave a special thanks to one of your fans who was cheering you on in the crowd, waving a German flag. So I just wanted to know how much do you play for yourself? How much do you play for your country? And how much do you play for your fans? And also, is there any difference for you between playing in an empty stadium and a stadium full of fans? Well, I think the last question I don't even need to answer, right? Um, I think the atmosphere is what makes sports. And I think that's what gives you the emotions. Uh, I've said it a lot of times. Um, but, you know, tennis, tennis is a, a sport where it's one against one. But I have a lot of people that are behind my back working uh, for me. Um, I obviously have my parents, I have my brother, um, who kind of dedicated their lives for my, for my tennis career. Um, I have coaches now, I have a lot of other different people. Um, you know, I have a lot of fans back in Germany as well, so um, I, I always appreciate when, when the support is there. And obviously the, the special fan, I met, I met her a few years ago, and um, it's, it's great to see that, that people can, can really enjoy tennis again. I think it's, it's quite a lot of fun to, to play in full stadiums rather than empty stadiums again. Uh, ciao, good evening, uh, congratulations, well done. Uh, let me ask uh, a chauvinistic uh, question, which is, uh, in Italy they are very proud of having uh, Sinner and uh, Musetti. Uh, there is a big gap between the two in terms of ranking. Somebody says that there is not a big gap in terms of uh, quality of tennis. I'd like to know your opinion about it, and uh, even if everyone thinks that one maybe is more talented, the other one is uh, more solid and powerful, can you tell me something different and original about those two? Who's more talented out of those two? I, I'm not going to tell you, you have to say. Oh, okay. um, something original about those two. Look, I think both of them are going to be great players. Right now, Yannick is more established. He has been top 10. He played in Turin last year. That is an establishment that, that um, Musetti doesn't have yet. He has beaten top 10 players. He has beaten uh, a lot of great players um, in, in his career already. So he's beaten me two years ago here. I think that's something that Musetti uh, still needs to, to accomplish. But in, in my opinion, uh, He's one of the most talented players, the most gifted players that we have on the tour. He, it, it looks also very nice to, to watch him play. He has a great technique, he had a one-handed back, and so it's quite beautiful tennis. Um, but it's, it's up to him what he does with that talent, and I cannot answer that question for you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hi Sasha, uh, Louis Boulet, l'équipe. Um, how did you feel on the court today and how your, uh, your tough win against Baez uh, had a positive impact on your preparation for today's game? Yeah, I mean, I think I played better today than, than I did two days ago. Uh, there is no question about that. Um, but also a very different match. I think uh, today he's serving a lot better. Uh, Baez has a much better forehand, moves better on, on a clay court. Brandon has a, has a much better backhand, so it's it's very opposite game styles. Um, but yeah, today in general, I, I played better and I felt better on the court. Thank you. 